Please check the mobile fire guide in the description. This video will eventually get outdated and the guide won't. I will be updating the guide every patch, so make sure to keep an eye on that. For runes, take Presti Attack for tiny and minor matchups, Fleet Footwork for even and major matchups. If you don't know which matchup is even, which matchup is tiny, make sure to check the guide. All the matchups are there, then you can see which one is which. Rest of runes are Absorb Life, Legend Haste, and Last Stand. Second page, take Resolve with Second Wind and Revitalize if you're running Fleet but Second Wind and Font of Life if you're running Presti Attack. For shards, take Ability Haste, Health and Tenacity. Against extreme matchups, you were going Emax Nasus, where you build Summon Aerie or Comet, personal preference. Keep in mind that Comet is a skill shot, but does more damage than Aerie, but Aerie can hit twice and will always hit. Rest of runes are Manaflow Band, Transcendence, Scorch. For second page, you take Resolve with Second Wind and Font of Life. For shards, you take two Adaptive Force shards and Tenacity. For spells, take Ghost and Flash, but you can also take Ghost and TP if you feel like you're going to split push in that game. You can always check if your top laner is a split pusher. If he's not, then you better take TP. Uh, if you're playing top, you should always take TP, but if you already have a split pusher, it's fine. You can just take Flash. Most of the time, it's going to be more useful than TP because you, you can't have two split pushers in the team. If you're running Fleet or Pressy Attack, you're most likely going to be going tank build with Nasus. So you're going to build Sheen first item. Of course, you're going to take Doran's shield, but after that, you take Sheen first item against tiny and minor matchups or Lucidity Boots for even and major matchups. I might do different boots in the future because of the haste that you get from Legend Haste now. However, Lucidity still helps you with Summoner Spells cooldown, so you can try other uh, boots out like Merc Threads or Plate of Steel Caps, but for now, I'm going to stick with Lucidity, but if anything changes, I'll change the guide, so keep an eye on that. The rest of the build is going to be Triforce, and most of the time you're going to be building Jack Shows. You build Jack Shows when there's a balance of between AD and AP on the team. But if there's more AD or more AP, then you do one of these items that are either AD or AP. So if you have more AD, you could do Frozen Art or Randwins, depending on who you have. If there is an attack speed based champs, you might want to do Frozen Art. If there's a lot of crit on the enemy team, you might want to do Randwins. If you have more AP than AD on the enemy team, then you're going to build Visage or Force of Nature or Kainic first and uh, then you can adapt uh, in the next in the rest of the game to build what items that you need specifically that are tanky. Keep in mind that you want to have 50 ability haste. Also, keep an eye on Hextech Drakes. They're very important and they give you ability haste, which is really nice. No matter what, your third item is always going to be Sterex. Sterex is one of the best items on NASA still currently because it provides a very good shield for you for team fights and it provides tenacity, which recently got nerfed. The rest of the build is, like I said, really depends on the enemy team. If you need more a uh, MR, then you just build Visage or Force of Nature if you don't have it already or Koenig. Uh, you can also build Abyssal Mask in a very specific situation. For example, if you have a Fed Mage in your team, then you can do Abyssal Mask so that they do more damage to the enemies. I think Despair is a good option as, as well as a Deadman's Plate or Randwins uh, if you already have Frozen. If you're doing Form Nail, never finish that item. Only build Bramble Vest and then move on to the next item because Form Nail, the bump that it provides over the gold that you waste is not really worth it. So just might as well just build the, the forms because that's what you really need and then move on to the next item. If you're however running Summon Area or Comet and doing Emax Nasus, then your first item is going to be Doran's Ring and then you're still going to be in Sheen, Sheen first uh, or Lucidity. Really here it's up to you if you believe that you can kill the uh, harder matchup early on. If you're getting uh, camped by your uh, um, jungler, then you can build, build Sheen first. But if, if you want to play just safer, just go Lucidity. But afterwards, what you're going to do is you build Malignance, and then you're going to build Lich Bane. Malignance is going to help with your ult, since you're going to be uh, AP early on. You still want to keep stacking as much so that you do Lich Bane later, so that you Q also does damage with the spell blade that you already have from Sheen, and you can have uh, a lot of damage from your ult with Malignance and with E. Afterwards, you just build Jack Shows and just go full tank afterwards. If you need MR, you can build for Nature or Visage or whatever you want for MR or Frozen Art for Armor. Don't forget that Sterix always comes after Jack Shows no matter what. Now, the way you're going to be laning with these three builds are completely different. If you're running Fleet, you're going to you're gonna go mostly just walk up to farm and walk back. And if you get hit, you're going to be healing from a lot of sources. You're going to be healing from six sources. That is Fleet, you're going to be healing from Absorb Life, you're going to be healing for a Dorn Shield, a Pot, second wind and font of life or if you have uh, revitalize also so it's a safer build for matchups where you need to play safer if you're running presti attack then you're going to be more aggressive you're going to fight more often right after six you're going to be fighting since you have sheen by six so your main objective is as soon as you get six make sure you have 100 stacks make sure you have sheen and make sure you check on my guide on the threat section on those tiny and minor matchups check their text there is in there because 
I have put in there ways for you to know when to engage, when to not engage, when to all in, when to not all in, so you can keep an eye on those matchups where you go uh, more aggressive. If you're going Emax Nasus, then your main goal is to proc Metaflow Band as early as possible. Just E only when you have your Metaflow Band up. Keep an eye on your HUD for that. After you proc a Metaflow Band completely, you will get 250 mana. Then from there, you're going to be focusing on harassing your opponent as much as you can, uh, putting uh, pressure on their lane and roaming if you can to help with drakes or with bot lane or top lane. During team fights, your main focus as tank Nasus is going to go to ghost up and chase the ADC down or the most fed carry in their team. Always save your slow for those opponents. Make sure to only fight when you have ult. Make sure to check if you have ghost as well. It's really important. With Emax Nasus, you're going to stay a little bit in the back line, but you can still go in if you see an opportunity. You, you still need ghost up. You still need ult up, but you can just hit your E on most of the opponents in the fight. But if you see an opportunity on killing a very strong opponent, then you go for it. You ghost, you ult, you slow, and you E and you Q. Don't forget to stack as Emax Nasus. It's still important to stack so that you can do hybrid damage. That's the guide. If you have any questions, you can ask in my Twitch channel. I go live every day. Or you can comment on the Mumafire guide. I will also be there to answer you as fast as I can. Thank you for watching.